So coming shot that is little shots, little snapshots, little photo, little arrêt sur image, little link, little stories as well, little cells, little things that are happening. Probably I would have worked on a story, and, and, and but then I thought of, no, I wanted to work on many stories. While someone gets happy, someone gets unhappy. While someone gets killed, someone gets born. One, so when the same, exactly the same time, there is a peaceful landscape, you know, you can gaze at a peaceful landscape of Tuscany. You can also look at someone as cranking heroin or whatever. That is happening all at once. I wanted to work this little snapshot in torn piece of clay. I, I like the idea of tearing the clay in little chunks, like you tear your bread before you soak it in your soup. So I worked this piece uh, in, in different style of drawing. I, to start with, I had an idea that it would have to be the same style and then I had a sort of an impulse that, that I wanted to look at sort of a cartoonish, like a comic strip uh, type of work with a lot of contrast, black and white. And then I basically got distracted, I guess, or drift into some different uh, uh, ways of drawing uh, and realized actually I wanted that diversity of, of drawing um, because they sort of somehow vehicle a uh, different emotion and so I went with the cartoonish aspect of my drawing and then some more realistic or watercolor like I started to include more and more color there is some kind of dream world of photographic images there is I worked for different things also I worked with words freedom whatever uh, resentment uh, friendship, whatever, and and then worked with this from it, made some little story, then some are just things that I need to to represent there, put there. Some are even a bit tacky, actually, I realize. There is pieces of pattern, there is totally abstract cosmos-like little uh, um, shots. I took stuff from the street, or, you know, the, the working in Chinatown, I took photo. Tons of photo of um, me. One photo is 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 called a little piece. is called a telling secrets. So I took a photo of me laughing, and then I took another photo of me, like whispering, and someone is here. And I had a hard time to actually put it, put it in in the right order. I worked with a lot of photo for my kid, for example, pulling muffins out of the oven, and I transform her into a granny. When I was working with the word, the word woman came and so I decided to do a sort of quick sketch of uh, the Henri Rousseau, my, my favorite, I don't even know the title of this painting, but I'll call it woman. <laughs> I think it's Eve really, frankly. But anyway, that was my image and it's a bit of wink wink. Wink wink. Anyway, there's a bunch of stuff. There is a ballerina that came out out of nowhere. I don't know why. Um, there is um, some native design that came, and I started to go from black and white. I wanted to be only black and white, and then I add a bit of color. I like the idea of just adding just the dots of color in there. So I, I worked mostly with black and white uh, from the center, and I started to add color on the, on the periphery, maybe to uh, represent this very black and white, that's deep contrast into the center of us, which in the periphery becomes more fuzzy and more let go of and more color can actually um, be um, included. I think it has to do with the mind, you know, black and white thinking and then so, and which I wanted really, really badly. I wanted that contrast. Yeah, that negative. Not, I'm not saying negative. I'm thinking negative in a positive way, right? <laughs> it's, but that sort of a negative shoot, like photo shoot, like um, quality, and um, and then going from that to a more life um, energy that includes the color. 
like things that are coming out of the negative you know that are outside that are you know there is this image and that story and then that there is outside of the box or outside of the image and the story that is not told or that is um, you know different I like to leave things a bit too hazard you know and just bang 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 see what happened right and I thought I was going to put them on the on the grid on the, the mesh that I really like a metal that I love grids um, just to look at it that pattern anyway and instead of that I decided to bang nails on the wall which is my one of my favorite um, occupation I love bang nails on the wall and um, then wrap up the wire around it and it just looks super cool super organic I like also the um, movement the action of twisting those little pieces of wire around the nail into this the little grape vine, you know, like and they have those little twirly, twirly, whatever things. You know, like started to add them like into this fabric again of, of um, nails, torn piece of clay and, and little wiggly wires. And um, uh, I thought, oh, I will cut the um, sticking piece of wire and then um, realized very soon that I liked it actually uh, those sort of wire mm, floating because you really have this effect of sort of floating just ready to grab on anything else to to attach yourself on something else what I don't know but you know like this freedom of relating to something else um, in a bigger picture, you know, all those little pictures are making a big picture. These little stories are making a big story.